Okay, girls, we are making chicken pot pie. Crack an egg, I got lucky here with double yolks and set it aside. In a large bowl, measure a cup of almond flour and uh, I just whisk it to break up any lumps. Cut three tablespoons of butter, cold butter, into small pieces, throw it in there, maybe add a little salt. And this is the peskiest part of the whole process. You need to pinch that butter into the flour until it resembles like brown sugar or wet sand. They, they will say coarse crumbs sometimes in recipes. So it takes maybe three minutes, five minutes. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, once you get it to that consistency, add in a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella, half of that egg, reserve the rest for later, and then just kind of use your fingers like a paddle and make it into a dough. There you go. Throw the dough onto a piece of parchment paper. You'll need to cut two pieces that are big enough to cover your casserole dish, obviously. Start kind of slow, you just sort of push it to get the shape started. And then um, roll it out. The main thing is you want it to be an even, uh, evenly thin. Evenly thin and of course, be larger than your casserole dish. I flip it over because I'm gonna get rid of that wrinkle in a minute. But first I kind of want to show you about there. That's about how thin we try and get the crust. No thinner than that or you won't peel it off the paper. Um, fix the, line, the edges a little bit, smooth it out. And now you want to put it onto a cookie sheet. I've got some that don't have any edges, so it's, they slide right on there, and you stick it in the fridge till you're ready for it. Meanwhile, saute your vegetables, any vegetables you want, in butter and olive oil until they're soft. And then get your chicken. I buy the rotisserie chicken already broken down, a little cheap. Check it for noses. When your vegetables are soft, you're gonna add four ounces of cream cheese, a quarter cup cream, a cup and a half of broth, some seasoning. I throw in a couple of teaspoons of Everglade, I throw in some garlic powder, I throw in some salt. And then you just mix them together. Make sure you get all of the gravy. Uh, peel off that crust carefully, flip it on top of the casserole dish, then peel off, yeah, you don't peel off the crust, excuse me, you peel off the parchment. Um, it's not gonna be a pretty crust, have I said that? It doesn't matter. Just knock off those pieces and then brush the top with the egg. Yum!